Hi, this is Will Cook of the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today, I'm going to give you five tips of how to buy in a seller's market. November 1st had the lowest number of homes for sale in the Greater Palm Springs area in recent history. And at 3.8 months of sales, we continue to be in a strong seller's market throughout the Coachella Valley. So how do buyers compete? I'm going to share with you five tips on how to buy in a seller's market. The first tip is to be prepared. Do the legwork up front to have your financial house in order so you can write an offer on a property quickly. If you're planning to get financing, have already have spoken with a lender and have your pre-approval in hand. If you're paying cash, then a seller is going to ask you to present a proof of funds verifying that you have the cash to close. The second tip is to know what you want. Create a list of must-haves versus nice-to-haves. If you're purchasing a property with a partner or a spouse, it's important for you both to get on the same page early. Have a predetermined set of priorities that you've agreed upon so that you can determine which homes fit your needs the best so you can move as quickly as possible. The third tip is to know the market and to be ready to move quickly. It's important for you to have a trusted advisor, an agent on your side who can help educate you on what's going on in the specific neighborhoods that you're interested in. Look at list price to sale price ratios in terms of what things are selling for and how quickly they're moving off the market so that when your dream home comes on, you'll know exactly how you're going to move and you can move quickly because chances are if you're having a wow experience and looking at the house, you're probably not the only one and your speed to writing an offer may be the thing that secures you in your new dream home. The fourth tip is to be prepared to compete. Submit your highest offer early. If you've studied the market and the home is well priced or it's priced right, then go in high and go in early. If you lowball a well priced home, it may ruin your chances of working with the seller at all. Another idea would be to determine if there's a problem that you can solve for the seller. For instance, if the seller needs to find a replacement property, consider closing early and allowing them to stay in the home for minimal rent until they find their replacement property. Another idea might be to be flexible on your closing date or put a higher down payment down or go easy on inspections. In California, all homes are sold as is with the buyer's right of due diligence. So don't ask for minor issues to be resolved after the home inspection or the seller may decide to sell to somebody else. The fifth tip is to not discount properties that have been on the market for a while. Maybe they were initially overpriced and now the seller needs to sell because it's been on the market for a while. So there may be some opportunity. Properties pr typically get the most attention in the first 30 days and if they haven't sold in the first 30 days or so or haven't had some sort of a price adjustment, then they can tend to be stigmatized. It doesn't mean that the seller doesn't want to sell. So consider putting in a reasonable offer to get a dialogue going with the seller on a property that might have been on the market for a while. I hope some of these tips will help you to buy in a seller's market. And if we can help you in any way, please feel free to reach out. Give us a call, a text, or an email. We'd love to discuss your unique situation and help you find the perfect dream home in the greater Palm Springs area. And if you have any other real estate related topics or questions that I can answer, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.